Hello everyone. Hey, it is PDJ time. So uh, I want to come to you for about PDJ. Um, before we get started with PDJ, I just uh, give some time for everyone to get logged on and, 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 and join us. But don't forget today is day two of the Daniels Fest. Uh, day two of the Daniels Fest. So um, don't forget that. Um, we're, we're in the midst of the Daniels Fest. This is day two. So uh, I just want to make sure that you, um, you, you know, jump in there. Uh, if you missed yesterday, jump in uh, on day two. You can add another day. It's going from the 8th to the 28th. So it's a, it's a time of the Daniels fast where we are um, praying and fasting. That means if you're just fasting and not praying, that means that that's called a diet. And that's not prayer and fasting. That's just something that you want to do for yourself and lose a few pounds. But you know what? Uh, the Daniels fast is praying and fasting. That means we're going to take some time. We're going to consecrate the flesh. We're going to remove ourselves. Uh, that's fasting. And um, you can fast food. I'm, I'm challenging individuals to fasting of food, fasting of anything else that, that has become an idol or a time, uh, something that's taken up all your time in life. Uh, maybe it's social media. Uh, maybe it's a, a football, maybe it's a basketball, maybe it's a soap opera, maybe it's uh, you know a hobby or something. Uh, it, it, we, we can fast that. So this is the time that the Daniels fast that we're doing a Daniels fast that um, uh, we want you to jump in. It, the fasting will change your life. Daniels fast, fasting and praying will change your life. It will bring you closer to God. Just remember if you're only fasting and not praying, that's called a diet. Uh, that does nothing. Uh, God, God, that doesn't get God's attention. So fasting and praying and praying means you're going to set some time aside uh, to um, talk to God, to worship him, to praise him and give him honor and, and exalt him. So so that being said, this is a time that we come to you and do PDJ. What is PDJ? That's prayer, devotion, and journaling. Uh, I just come to you live so we can do PDJ, prayer, devotion, journaling. I, I'm you know, challenging everyone to um, have a PDJ life. Uh, you, you can eat your PBJ while you have your PDJ, but um, I love peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, but I love um, prayer, devotion, and journaling so much better. It does so much better, uh, so much more for my spirit than it does anything else. And it, it actually is healthier and it keeps a few pounds off. Amen. Uh, you know what? But, but I challenge you to do your prayer, devotion, and journaling. And Tuesdays are the time that we come to you at noon with uh, prayer and devotion and journaling. And I want to jump right in to Ecclesiastes um, uh, chapter 7. And I, I I'm going to just read some of seven, and but there's a verse that I really want to focus on. But I want us to understand that th this is about wise sayings. Uh, this Ecclesiastes is about wise sayings. Uh, it's the contrast between wisdom and fo fo folly uh, from corruption. And, it, and it's also um, explaining about how uh, we don't want to make ourselves where we think we're uh, too righteous, uh, we're, we're too wise. Uh, because then we start exalting ourselves above God and above others because let's face it, our, our righteousness is from God. Our wisdom is from God. And uh, this, this here is, is about that, that, that wisdom, the wise sayings that, uh, you know what, hey, don't, don't think you're too wise. Don't think that getting the attitude that you, you're just all this because no one's all this. Uh, you know, your pastor is not all this. Uh, you know, believe me, if it wasn't for God, uh, you know what? I, I would be in, 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 in upside down and messed up. So um, what I want to start with is, is Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 1. A good name is better than fine perfume in the day of one's death than the day of one's birth. Hmm. It is better to, to go to a house of mourning than to go to a house of feasting, since that is in the end of all mankind and the living should take it to heart. Grief is better than laughter, for when a face is sad, a heart may be glad. The heart of the wise is in a house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of pleasure. It is better to listen to rebuke from a wise person than to listen to the song of fools. For like the crackling of burning thorns under the pot, so is the laughter of the fool. This too is futile. Surely the practice of exhortation turns a wise person into a fool, and a bride destroys the mind." <coughs> Excuse me, I'm still trying to get over this flu. And this is where I want to go in verse 8. Uh, the end of a matter is better than its beginning. A patient spirit is better than a proud spirit. Now, now I want you to understand this is uh, about wise sayings. This is, uh, 
the difference between wise and folly, and, and, and it's giving you the, that, you know, God doesn't want you to be excessively righteous or overly wise because um, that is pride that, that thinks that we can handle it. But, and I don't want to take the scripture out of context, but verse eight, the end of a matter is better than its beginning. It, that really sunk in and, and, it, and it sunk into me uh, this way, is that the end of a matter is better than its beginning. Uh, we are birthed into sin because we have the flesh, amen? Uh, we are birthed into, you know, to the, the flesh, uh, uh, you know, which is sin nature. And, you know, there's a lot of times that life will throw us uh, what we call bad cards or, or life will throw us things that, that curve balls that we don't agree with or we don't like. And um, what I'm trying, I want you to get out of this last verse. And I don't want to take anything out of text, out of contractual text. Um, the end of a matter is better than its beginning. The Lord really spoke to me that says that the end of a matter is better than its beginning. You know, there's times in the beginning of things that you don't have a choice or you don't have an option. Things are thrown at you. But see, the end can be better. Uh, see, I can serve the Lord. I can receive Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. And I can have my name written in the book, the Lamb's Book of Life. See, I might be dealt a bad situation in life, but see, I, the end can be so much better than the beginning because of the choices that I choose to walk it out. Uh, I choose to have the latter greater than the beginning. I, I choose to have my life at the end uh, be a reflection of God and, and, and not of anything else. I, I, I'm choosing the end of a matter is better than its beginning. I'm choosing the end of every one of my situations to be better than the beginning. I might have been born into a family that didn't want or want me. That's not my case. But there's a lot of people that, you know what, you've been rejected by your family. You've been thrown away. Maybe you've been adopted. But let me tell you, you have a father in heaven that loves you unconditionally. Uh, you have choices that you can choose to let your, your end of a matter, uh, end of a thing be better than the beginning. You can choose to say that I'm not gonna live by the past. These cards that were dealt to me, these people that, that pushed this, this influence on me, uh, this negativity, or I've been abused, or I, I've been sexually molested, I, I, I've been just thrown to the curb, I've had friends destroy me, uh, you know, I, I'm going to choose to let the end of a thing be better than the beginning. I'm going to choose to serve Jesus Christ so his glory would be magnified, that I will glorify him at the end, and it would be better than my beginning. See, everyone has choices. You have a choice. Maybe you don't like how you was born. Maybe, maybe you was born as a boy and you want to be a girl. Well, you know what? That, that's, you know, you got to take what God's given you. You got to take, you, know, you got to live out. You got to make that better, the end better than the beginning. You know what? You are a male. You need to live as a male. If you are a woman, you need to live as a woman. Uh, you, 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 you need to take and, and make the right choices. And you can make the end better than the beginning. Maybe you was dealt bad cards from an a, a, a employer. Maybe an employee. Maybe a spouse. Maybe you've been through a divorce. But don't let that determine your end. Don't let that determine the matter, uh, the, the end of the matter of a thing. Don't, don't let that, the end, become the same as your beginning of a situation. You have a choice to make it better. You have a choice to walk out a, a, a godly life. You have a choice to walk out joy. You may, might have been dealt a bad set of cards. You might have been caught in a situation that wasn't your fault and everybody's calling you a liar. Everybody's blaming you, but you have a God in heaven that will bring forth the truth. So I, I, I choose to live according to his word. I choose to, to live out joy. I choose not to live in pain. I choose to have, have this day is a day that Lord has made and I'm going to rejoice and be glad. You know what? Maybe you didn't catch any fish this day. Oh, hallelujah. Is that going to dictate your next day of fishing? Absolutely not. That means you're going to go out and you're going to expect to be catching some fish. Amen. Because you know what? Just because you had a bad day of fishing doesn't mean the end is going to be the same way. I choose to make the end better than the beginning. I choose to make the end better in my life. I choose to each and every day grow closer to God with the relationship that's going to glorify him. I, I want to secure my salvation. I want to secure my place in that book. I, I want to run my race each and every day. So that means I'm running my race. That means I, each and every day is going to be better than my beginning. 
That means when my end comes and the Lord wants to take me home, that means my end is going to be better than the beginning. That means I've done greater. I've, I've advanced. I, I've done more. I, that means every day is joy. No matter what comes my way, it's joy. It's peace. I, I'm going to bear the fruit of the spirit no matter what. Anger has to go. So I'm just challenging you, just as verse 8 says. The end of a matter is better than its beginning. And I, I'm taking this verse because, you know what? We all have a choice to make each and every day better than the beginning. We all can make each and every day of our life better than the beginning. The end of the day can be better than the beginning. We can grow closer to God. We can give more to God. We can do more for God. We can love more. We can pray more. There's so much more than what we can do at the end. We, we can make the end better than the beginning. So if you was dealt a bad cards years ago in your life, don't let the end be the same way. You have a choice to make a difference. You have a choice to let go of the past. You have a choice to get rid of the addiction. You have a choice to be an overcomer. You have a choice to be a conqueror. You have a choice to walk out the end to be better than the beginning. I love you guys. I know you guys can do this. I know you guys can walk out an end that's better than the beginning. Your ladder shall be greater. Your ladder shall be greater. And that's all about a choice. It's all about our heart's desires. And it's all about what we choose and what we want. And we can choose life, we can choose joy, we can choose peace. We can walk out a victorious life in Christ and grow our end better than our beginning. And I don't know about you, but that's what I want. And then mornings that I wake up all sore, I don't want to go to bed all sore. I, I, I'm going to bed with a new attitude. I'm healed. I'm whole. I'm set apart. I'm sanctified. Hallelujah. And, and it's all good and glory be to God because the end's going to be better than the beginning. I was born in this flesh. I didn't walk according to God's word. And I'm making my life each and every day closer and better relationship with God that my end would be better than my beginning. So we can all do this. We're all in the same boat and we can all walk it out. We all have our own race to race. There's no other race to race but our own. And we can make the end better. Love you guys. I want to pray for you guys. I want to remind you we're in the midst of the Daniel's fast. Day two of the Daniel's fast. Day two. This isn't a peace sign. This is day two. Uh, you know, so day two of the Daniel's fast. Make sure you eat your vegetables, your fruit. It's going to clean you out. Uh, hallelujah. Some of you need cleaned out spiritually and physically. Hallelujah. So it's all good. But day two of the Daniel's fast. And let's jump in there and get started and get going. And make sure, if you heard me yesterday, make sure you plan out your meals. Get your groceries uh, all bought because it's easier to plan ahead and the Daniel's fast because come th this time Thursday, you're going to be like, well, what am I going to eat? Well, if it's already planned, you already know what you're going to eat. You're going to eat vegetables and fruit. Uh, maybe it's going to be stir fried. It might be baked. It might, who knows what it's going to be, but you know, at least you have it planned and you're setting yourself up for victory. So let's pray. Lord, we thank you, Father God, for the opportunity to come to you and, and be a part of your word. I thank you for this prayer and devotion and journaling, this PDJ time, Father God. And Lord, I, I just, I, I don't want the scripture to be, I don't want to misuse the scripture or anything because this scripture in Ecclesi Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verses 1 through 8 is about the wise, is about not becoming too wise or thinking you're too wise. But I, I, I want us to realize that, that we can make our end better than the beginning. I, I want us to realize that, that we have choices in life that we can choose right, we can choose correctly, and we can choose according to your word that each and every day is a day that's growing closer to you, that we're bettering our lives, we're, we're doing more, we, we choose blessing over cursing, and, and, and Father God, we, we want to grow closer to you. And every day that we grow closer to you, we're, we're bettering our end. Uh, it's better than our beginning. Uh, and Father God, that's what I want individuals to understand, is no matter what cards they were dealt, no matter what they're going through, they can ha have a choice to choose your joy, your peace, to walk out a better end than the beginning. Lord, I pray this upon each and every individual, Father God, that we start walking out our better end instead of the beginning. Father God, that, that our end is going to be better than the beginning. Father God, because we're choosing righteously, we're choosing you, we're choosing joy, we're choosing to be positive and not negative, we're choosing to let go of the past and focus on your future. We love you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, and everyone says, amen, amen. We love you guys. Uh, uh, we're praying for you. Day two, I'm going to come to you tomorrow um, on day three for the fast, but, but remember, uh, you can do this. 
You're an overcomer. You're a conqueror. Uh, God loves you. You're sons and daughters of God, of the living God. Uh, and, and he loves you and he wants to bless you. So keep going. Keep moving forward and make your end better than your beginning. Love you guys and see you later. See you tomorrow. Bye.